Okay, uh, now that I've got the Enphase installation complete, I wanted to provide an overview of the Enphase monitoring system, which is pretty remarkable. Um, you know, to begin with, it'll give you just highlights of the current production of the day, the past seven days production, monthly production, lifetime, etc. It, it literally tracks second by second, minute by minute, day by day, um, month by month, uh, up to your lifetime of every data point you can imagine. So let's kind of look down here. I'm just clicking into, I just clicked into the past seven days. So up here you can see the time is 6.20 in the morning. The panels are zeroed. There's no production yet. And by the way, I only have six Enphase panels. Um, I only have six panels mounted on this, on my Enphase system. I have others, but not on this system. Um, and it's a West Array. It's 252 degrees. So, uh, and they're 225 watt panels. So my production is, and my mounting's not perfect, but I do get pretty good production. So let's just look at the last seven days. You can slide this. You can see the panel starting to wake up. 7 watts, 7.45 in the morning. Sun's rising. It's kicking in. Panels are really starting to produce. And you can see at 10 in the morning where they are. And you can see they're peaking. Where do they peak? Right about, oops, right about there. At about 2.15, I'm hitting almost 200 watts. So you could do this and look at any day, and watch them go to sleep, wake up, repeat, look at any day, any cycle. Um, some other really cool features. Actually, I'll go to this in a minute. Let me go back up. Let's go to the report functions. So we can go to reports. And let's let this load up. Now we can select a report based on, we can do this, the full site production, which is all six panels, uh, per module production, anything you want. I was just going to select this, the full site. You can put in any date range you want. I'm just going to look at how I did from August 1 to August 15. Submit. And now here's my production. You can see the report. You can also load these in Excel, spreadsheets, email them, print them, whatever you want to do. But you can see August 1, my six panels for the entire day produced 9.05 kilowatts. So that's pretty good. The next day I produced 9.32 kilowatts. So what's that? 9,320 watts but for six 225 watt west facing panels. That's pretty good. So pretty much there's your production. I had a low day here at 7.42, but mostly in the high 8s, low 9s, uh, which is pretty good. All right, now we can look at, let's say we wanted to isolate a particular inverter. Click up here to inverters. And I'm going to just select one of my six panels here. I'll just plug in, let's check out this one. So, <clears throat> what will, now we can get, um, a, a greater level of detail on the particular panel, I, whatever one you want to select. So there's the one it's showing you where on my roof that particular panel is, lo where it's located. Um, now let's go down here and let's look at what I can pull off of this. This is the power this pr panel's produced over the last seven days. So let's say I wanted to look here, I can see the time and the watts it's produced what this panel hit 198 watts two o'clock so let's say I, <clears throat> I want to look at the panel's temperature on this particular day um, and I can click on this and you can see the temperature at any given point uh, of the day on this particular day so it looks like the panel temperature topped off at about 31 degrees and um, as you know panel temperature uh, there is a relationship between that and production in general the cooler the panels the greater the production the hotter the panels the less production um, so anyway we can uh, look at panel temperature we can look at 
DC current. So this is your amps. Um, and these are 24 volt panels, so they'll be uh, they're probably about seven amps they, at their peak. And we can monitor at any given time. You're looking at September 2nd. Uh, what time is that say? 12:50, and yet 7.06 amps. And the amps topped off at about 7.35 for that for this day. Also, Enphase will monitor. Uh, for you any of this data and send you alerts if they detect any anomalies like your temperature surging on a particular panel or the voltage is surging or whatever it is so it's a pretty good feature if you don't want to monitor you know this on a daily basis um, other things you can look at is AC voltage now these are inverted at the panel level so our AC voltage should be they're inverted to 240 AC so it should be about 240 and you can see when they're producing they're right in that range 233 we can go down here and um, look at I don't know if I did DC voltage yet but DC voltage and these are 24 volt panel a uh, watt a uh, volt panel sorry 24 volt DC so your volts are they're actually a little bit higher than that as you can see 27 so you can monitor virtually anything you want on any on any panel at any point in time um, and then and that's pretty much it um, I think I've pretty much covered most of the highlights on this now I'm back to power production on this particular day on this panel 